This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hi there, my name is Mike Hermes and welcome to my channel. Alright guys, well today we're going to do a modeling video and what we're going to model is a lit candle, okay? Now, one distinction there, we're not going to use the typical uh, dynamic fluid effects that you would expect in Maya, but we're going to do a bit of a cartoony style um, candle, okay? So we're going to have to uh, animate the flame and create some light effects and so forth, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Alright, let's jump in and have some fun. There we go. Alright guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2016, so let's get started uh, uh, and model our candle. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, let's see, we'll take a polygon cylinder. Yep. Let's set subdivisions to, actually 20, that's fine. We'll set caps to zero. I think that's good. And then we'll just select this guy, hit R to scale it up a little bit. And you can see that this, this snapping is going on there. And I found out that's kind of a bit of a glitch. What we're going to do here is I'm going to double click on this guy. I'm going to go up to Reset Tool. And now it's gone. Cool, huh? Okay. So let's say that this is a good height for a candle. Maybe something like that. We're going to right click and we're going to get a face. We're going to select that face. And we're going to go to, uh, actually we're going to hit Control E to extrude. And I promised someone I would start saying that instead of going up to Edit Mesh and Extrude. So we're going to hit R, we're going to scale that in. We're going to hit G to repeat last command and W to pull down. Okay. Then we're going to add a few edges. So we're going to go to Insert Edge Loop. We'll do one fairly close to the top here and one down here just to hold that shape. And then we're going to go in and we're going to right click and get a face. And we're going to select a few of these faces here. Hit B on our keyboard for soft selects and hold down B and left click and drag to increase or decrease the affected area. I'm going to go with something like this and then I'm going to hit W and I'm going to pull that up. Okay, just to give us that distinct uh, candle look. Okay, I'm gonna hit B to turn off soft select. So there we have it. All right, now what I can try here is go up to mesh display and uh, soften edge. Let's see if that helps, and it does. It looks nice. Okay, All right, so next part for the candle wick, uh, we're gonna take another polygon cylinder. We're going to hit W, we're going to pull that up. We're going to hit R to scale that in quite a lot. Just get this out of the way here for a sec. Make sure we have our control panel open. And I'm going to set the subdivision to, let's do 12 and the caps to zero. Okay. Now I want that to be a little bit curved. So I'm going to hit W to push that down. And we're going to make that thinner, obviously. I'm going to go to face and hit Control E to extrude it. Hit W, pull that up. And as we do that, we're going to hit E to kind of rotate that a little bit. G to repeat, W to pull up. And uh, let's pull it over to the side just slightly. G to repeat, W to pull up. On. and again pull it over a little bit and maybe hit E and rotate it some more G to repeat W to pull up and rotate that some more okay we're gonna take the whole thing we're gonna hit R to scale it down Hit W to move it up, and we'll just extend it from the bottom a little bit. 
So we're going to right click at our vertex, drag, select these bottom vertices. All right. And then we'll go to insert edge loop and we'll do one here, here, here. All right, Q on your keyboard. I think that looks about all right. Let's look at the proportions. That's pretty close. Let's go to object mode, hit R, scale it down a bit more and W to bring that down in, there we go. So that's our candle and our wick. And then for the next step, we're gonna create our flame. And for that, we'll take a uh, polygon sphere. We'll pull that up. Let's go into our attribute editor and set subdivision level to 12. Okay. And then we're gonna move in, right click, go to vertex, take that top vertex right there and again we're gonna hit B for soft select and by holding down your left key you can kind of tweak that a little bit and we're gonna to start to pull that up towards what we would consider to be a flame take the top one there decrease the impacted area and try to make a nice point up there okay so we're going to right click and go to object mode. I'm going to hit B to turn that soft select off again. Let's bring that in. Hit F to zoom in and four for wireframe mode so we can see where we're at. Okay. And then obviously we're going to have to scale this down, but first we're going to bring down our pivot point. Okay. So we're going to hit the insert key. We're going to move the pivot point down to the bottom there and let's just hold V so it can snap to vertex. All right. And then we're going to hit the insert key again to turn that off. And we're going to hit R to scale the whole thing down until it's in proportion. And that's about it, I guess. All right. So it's a bit uh, rough. So we're going to select this guy and we're going to go up to mesh display and soften edge, which will give us a nice smooth um, flame. Yep. All right, guys. Well, this is the modeling bit. Now let's jump into texturing. All right, guys. Well, we completed the modeling bit. So next part is going in and texturing our asset. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this guy here. We're going to right click, go to assign new material. And let's take a standard Lambert. And then we're going to go into the color, hit the check box here and we're going to look for a ramp shader and there we go. Okay. Now when we open that up, we uh, have the ability to uh, kind of build up a color and we need to decide what kind of color we're going to use here. So for the black, we're going to go with something yellow ish and typically the bottom would be a bit darker. And as we move to the top, because of the candle flame and the light coming from that flame, um, you know, you sh should see a bit of a difference there. Just trying to make that a bit more dark. I guess that's okay. And then we'll, nope, hang on. Hang on. Nope, sorry about that. Yeah, so we're gonna hit this guy. And let's do something that is way more brighter. And I'm trying to see if it can get more towards yellow instead of green. I guess that's all right. Try and make the bottom part a bit more dark. Okay. And then we're going to go to window. Uh, Hang on. Excuse me. Uh, hang on. Uh, where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Hyper shade. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Let's give that a sec. 
and up here we got our Lambert so we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to assign material to selection okay let's turn this guy on and let's see if that has the effect that's not too bad we could have gone with a bit stronger effect there but let's just have a look here okay so let's uh, select the bottom one here and we'll go maybe towards a bit darker color and then move it up a bit yeah and then we'll move this one down here a little bit and what we'll do is we'll add one more and what we'll do here is we'll push that probably a little bit more towards white not quite just to give a little bit more effect there all right yeah happy with that cool sorry that took a while guys okay so now for the wick we're gonna assign new material we're gonna do a Lambert and again we're gonna go in and we're gonna select our ramp shader and then the bottom part is already black but we're gonna push that way up because we want the for the most part we want it to be black and then we're gonna select this guy and that should be red obviously so we're gonna take a red color and that should be bright red that's fine just thinking whether we should put one in between here so we'll take this one and maybe push that a little bit towards orange okay and now we're gonna kind of divide that up a little bit and make that red maybe nice and strong okay and there we go not crazy about it let's see if we can kind of tweak that a little bit yeah I guess that's better and I'm even thinking about reversing these colors here so this should be more towards orange and this should be more towards red yeah that's what I'm gonna go for okay so now for our flame we're gonna take that and we're gonna right click assign the material we're gonna go with another Lambert we're gonna hit our checkered box once again we're gonna go with a ramp shader now I want the uh, highest part let's see to be uh, let's see this end we'll do orange so we'll just go with try to keep it more orange than red and I kind of want to have a bit of a strong orange going on there okay and then we'll let's see we'll have that we'll do um, let's see red here and it's very bright red so maybe tweak that a little bit okay and then the bottom one we'll do blue that should be kind of that baby blue-ish and now we need to tweak these top colors here because this is simply not bright enough we're gonna push that blue back a little bit and this should be a very bright orange so let's start here let's 
it's more yellow than orange but that's all right yeah okay so we got that uh, I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna scroll down to special effects and what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the glow intensity on this okay so let's do 0 0.5 all right I'm gonna put up a quick ground plane here hit R to scale that out come on where, where is it it's inside my candle obviously Hit R, scale that out, yep. Hit W and go down. And there you have it. Okay. Hit R and scale that out some more. All right. Hit this guy. And let's do a quick test render to see whether this has the desired effect. Okay. So we're just going to pop in and we're just going to simply hit render nothing else okay so you got a bit of a glow going on there uh, which is nice and that's kind of what we're going for so maybe we can take that glow intensity and do maybe 0. Oh, 0 0.85 let's try that again yeah that's nice okay so that pretty much covers the texturing part uh, and again you can tweak the settings all you want obviously um, so let's get into the animation part okay hang on okay guys so in our last video we uh, textured our candle um, let's do a little bit of tweaking on that before we move towards the animation bit now first of all i think my flame is pretty high up uh, compared to the wick so I'm gonna hit W and bring that down I think that's a bit more realistic now second um, we put a glow intensity on our flame but what we want to achieve is that we don't actually see the polygon shape for the flame so for that I'm gonna go and make sure that I'm in my Lambert material which is the material that I applied to my uh, flame and we're gonna hide source okay so we're not gonna see it, we're only gonna see the glow intensity. So that said, we're gonna have a little view here of what that would look like. So we're gonna go into our render settings and we are going to do this in Maya software. Let's just check a few things here. I'm gonna go into the render options and turn off default light. Okay, that's good then uh, let's see what else okay so I already hit the source of my flame so that's good uh, we'll do uh, HD 720 for size we're not gonna go crazy there and let's just uh, give this a quick render and see what that looks like okay here we go okay so we're not getting enough uh, light there so what we'll do is we will uh, go to create lights and I'm gonna do a spotlight and I'll tell you why we want to have the effect of the shadow on the floor so I'm gonna hit E to rotate hold down J and point that down towards the top of my candle let's see if it's uh, locked in okay we're gonna hit W we're gonna pull that up and I'm gonna hit 7 on my keyboard so I can kind of see the effect there um, which is kind of cool okay um, and let's see yeah that would be about it we are going to tweak the color let's go with something yellowish and bring that down quite a bit and we want the intensity to go down as well so let's do maybe 0 0.25 to make it very minimal and then we'll probably have to go back in and turn back on our default light. So I'm gonna go down and there we go, okay? So let's have another go and let's see how that looks, okay? Okay, well, that's uh, kind of what I was going for. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see that the candle itself is a bit dark and we can do a little bit on the intensity of our flame here. 
So I'm going to add a few elements. I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, create a light and we'll do a directional light. And we'll pull that over here and pull that up. And I'm going to hit E and kind of point it down towards my candle. Now it's way too intense as you can see. So first I'm going to change the color to again that yellowish color. And then the intensity will try 0.15, which I guess is a bit better. So we'll be able to see the front of our candle here. We're going to take our candle object. We're going to go into the material that we used. And let's do an intensity of two on the material. Okay. Now let's set that up for rendering and have another go. Here we go. Okay, so the flame itself is better. A um, little bit too much light from the directional light there. So we're going to take that. Let's go to 0 0.01. Maybe a little bit more. 0 0.04. That's a bit better. And under shadows, ray trace shadows is set up. That's good. So let's have another go. Okay, that's better. All right. All right. So for the last bit, we need to animate our flame somewhat. Okay. So we're going to go in here and we're going to select this guy. And we're going to make sure that the pivot point is set down here as we did before. Now let's do, um, I don't know, let's do 30 frames. Uh, actually, let's do a little bit more than that. Let's do 90 frames. Okay, 90 frames. So we've got our object selected, we're on frame one, and we're gonna hit S to keyframe that. So there we go, hit S. Then we're gonna drag select, let's say to frame 30. We're gonna hit E, and we're gonna kind of tilt that a little bit. We're gonna hit S to keyframe that again. Let's drag that to 60. We'll just kind of bring that back a little bit. Okay. Hit S once again. And then we'll drag to frame 90. And we'll not go quite into the same position. Let's do that. And hit S on a keyboard again. Let's jump to frame 1. Hit play. Okay, so you got some movement going on there, all right? So, come on. There we go. Let's have one more render look here. That's good. So now what we're going to do is a quick play blast. So we don't have to render out the entire scene, but we can still see whether it worked out or not. Okay, hang on. Okay, so we're going to go up to Window. We're going to go to Play Blast. Hit the option box. Okay, that's all good. Time slider, uh, all right. Uh, that's good, quality is good. I think we can go with the default here. So we're just gonna hit play blast. And that will take a little while. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, pause until it's done. Okay guys, well here's the end result of our little project. I'm just going to hit play here and there you see you have some slight flame animation going on and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, if you have any questions as always, you know how you can uh, reach me. Uh, you can find my details below and if you have any questions, I will uh, be glad to help if I can. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.